sometimes if y'all go to the park or certain parts of the um the woods always be careful of course if you see an animal admire it from a distance don't try to pick it up don't try to touch it and don't worry it's not gonna attack you you know most animals will defend themselves if they feel like you're getting close to their home or territory but other than that they will leave you alone just admire you know look at it from a distance don't try to you know don't feed any squirrels don't feed any um raccoons don't do none of that check out this clip of someone feeding a wild squirrel which please guys do not do that check it out you saw that right so that squirrel came came right up to that person's and took the food from his hands do not do that that's very dangerous because number one that same squirrel can actually bite you and number two if the squirrel loses its fear of humans then that means that that same squirrel could be vulnerable to be eaten by like a cat or something and three sometimes these animals not all the time but they can get rabies and then when the animal has rabies they act weird and one way to act is that that should come up to you also and if it bites you if it has rabies that's bad so just don't feed animals period don't feed wild animals just enjoy them from a distance Now, I'm sure everyone has seen a pig before. And some people eat bacon, which is pig. And some people don't. Did you know that, you know, a pig is considered a farm animal. It's domesticated. But did you know that, let's say a pig was to escape into the woods, you know, the forest. In about a year or two, that same pig will actually grow small little tusks, you know, longer. And also the skin will get a lot thicker in about a year or two. So basically that pig is going to adapt to a wild hog that quickly. You know, wild hogs are different from pigs. You know, wild hogs are wild, but pigs are more domesticated. But again, if a pig runs into the forest somewhere in about a year or two, that same pig is actually going to start growing its tusks longer and the skin going to get tougher. So in essence, it's going to become almost like a wild hog. Interesting, right? But Check out this type, this type of hog. I'm sure none of y'all have seen this type before. It's called a river hog. Check it out. Awesome, right? You have to admit, that was a very, very cool looking hog. River hog, I should say. It doesn't look like your average pig. It just doesn't. You know, one can say it actually looks more prettier than a regular pig, right? So, I just thought that I had to show you that because, you know, river hogs are super cool animals. You're not gonna find them in Florida, don't worry, all right? Just other parts of the world. Don't go anywhere.